It has been a tough year for the Salvation Army in Tupelo. The nonprofit has come under fire for making some changes that have not helped the people it serves. WTVA's Wayne Herford sat down with a local Salvation Army director to talk about the problems. He is live in Tupelo with what came out of that interview. The Tupelo Salvation Army is dealing with a number of limited problems such as resources like food, supplies, and staff. The captains who run this facility have had to make a few cuts this year, but they told me today that they finally are bringing some of the essential services back online. Tupelo Please Salvation do. Army Please. Captains Thomas and Leanna Marion were forced to make some tough decisions cuts this summer. The Marians limited the number of nights people could stay at the shelter and charged a fee in some cases. The couple also closed the shelter during hot weather and only offered takeout meals. Yeah, so my husband and I came to Tupelo in June of last year. And when we got here, we had seen that there was a couple of issues in the shelter. Um, one being that we had community members who had been staying for two, three years. Captain Marion said that's why they had to turn some people away and make a few changes. And so part of those changes and the policy included a 14-day free stay followed by a $10 a night program fee. Marion says the program actually worked well. She says some people found jobs, but that good news created another problem. And so they would find a job in the first two weeks, and then they would have to wait. You have to wait to get paid. Um, very few jobs, you get paid that day. Starting in September, shelter residents can stay 30 days for free while they rebuild their lives. Gives a little bit more time for days, yeah. those who are coming to get on their feet, to get in their job placement, and to get their first paycheck. The shelter installed 32 new security cameras, which will allow them to reopen during heat advisories and warnings. The shelter will also expand its food service. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner will now be served seven days a week. The Marians want to help as many people as they can. Everything that uh, we have been doing in the last year, one, satisfies the mission of the Salvation Army, which is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet human needs in his name without discrimination. So all of our why goes right back to that. Now, the Salvation Army's biggest problem does continue to be lack of community involvement and support. Reporting live here in Tupelo at the Salvation Army Shelter and Center, I'm Wayne Herford, WTVA 9 News.